This is the banded rotational press, red band, just about mid chest height. I'm gonna get just a little bit of tension on it to start, athletic stance, brace in the core, and then I'm gonna punch across my body and finish strong there. So I'm punching across, finish strong. Couple keys here. First, I wanna be dynamic on this inside of this back leg. So when I come across, I'm finishing on my toe and I'm squeezing this glute. That's what's providing a lot of the power from here to there. So that's my finish position. And that's key. A lot of times when people try this, they keep their feet planted and they just try to rotate shoulders and then into the low back. That's both not gonna be as powerful because we have less muscles generating this force. And also sometimes this can result, if done repeatedly, in some low back discomfort simply because the, the joints of the low back are not really designed for rotation. There's only a couple degrees of rotation per lumbar spine level. So our rotation really comes from our hips and our thoracic spine, not so much from our lumbar spine. So getting up on that back toe is really critical. So again, it's shown here, come across the body, bracing through the core, pressing out. I can go slow, but then as I get kind of here, I'm gonna rotate, I really wanna pivot on this back hip and I can hold there but this generally feels a whole lot better pressing out. One other thing on shoulder position, I wanna grasp this with thumb up and try and keep my bicep to the ceiling as I press. That's gonna keep my shoulder in some relative external rotation, get the scapular muscles, the rotator cuff engaged. That's gonna feel a lot better than getting that thumb there or thumb down. You'll be hanging out on the front of the shoulder. Um, if that's tough for you, first you can just try less resistance. You just want to get this band on tension before you start, because if I start here, it kind of snaps, that might feel a little weird. Or you can just do this with no resistance. You get used to pivoting through the hip. So that's what I call through the hip, where I'm up on this back toe rather than just through the low back. So that's our band rotational press.